Welcome everybody. My name is Chobo Bard and I'm, uh, I'm from Hungary. I work for Deloitte and uh, my job involves doing penetration tests and uh, computer forensics. I will show you uh, a rootkit. By the way, we are, uh, we are at the Hacker Halt in Miami 2010. I will show you a rootkit uh, that, uh, that supports uh, all the major 32-bit version of Windows now. Uh, and it in, uh, including uh, Windows XP, Service Pack 2 and Windows 7. I will show you uh, the DCOM options, uh, the rootkit supports now, and uh, the first thing that I want to show you is that I'm no logged in as a regular user. In order to prove it, I will list the members of the uh, administrators group, and as you can see, there's only one member there, uh, and uh, the, this member is the administrator, so this means that uh, test user 1 doesn't have administrative privileges on the server. So next step, let's, let's try to gain administrative privileges. I will use the dash PG, uh, PGS option of the rootkit, and I have to pass the process identifier of the command prompt I'm, use I'm now using, which is 2204. If I now start, who am I? You can see that now I have the privileges of the anti-authority system account, which is the most powerful account in the Windows world. Okay? Now we, now we have this process running, and I can show you uh, in a task manager that is running on behalf of the uh, administrator account that the process, with process ID 2204, has the privileges of the system account. Now, uh, let's try to hide this process. In order to do that, I will start a new command prompt and I will use the dash ph option and pass the exact same process identifier. Um, please have a look at the test manager. The process is highlighted there. So now it is gone from test manager, but it is still running. Right? So uh, I can do anything in this process and, and I still have the privileges of the system account. Okay, uh, now I will create a directory on uh, drive C uh, in the root. You can see that it is here and I will try to hide this directory from the admin. In order to do that, I have to specify a pattern, and this pattern will be the name of the directory, because uh, uh, as per today, this rootkit identifies files and directories by their name. Okay, new prefix is set, and now uh, I will turn on a file and directory hiding for drive C. Sorry, I forgot the dash. Okay, now it is attached to drive C, and now uh, if I start uh, uh, Windows Explorer on behalf of the administrator, and list the content of drive C, there's no arcade directory here. You can list the uh, status of uh, file and directory hiding as well, and you can use the dash FLD option for that. And you can see that this rootkit, uh, this ro uh, rootkit supports uh, drives uh, that, uh, that are mapped through RDP, and uh, it supports uh, physical hard disks. Okay. Next up, uh, turn off file and directory hiding, which is done as easy as that. It is now turned off, and if I now hit refresh here, the arcade directory appears. Hey, uh, that was all I wanted to show you. Thank you for your attention. Here is the contact info in case uh, you have an, uh, in case you have a question. Uh, I can be reached uh, on, on these two email addresses. The first one is my private email and the second one is uh, the email account I have at my company.